Hey fam, welcome back to this week's vlog. It is Saturday morning, mid-morning. Um, me and Jay just got back from BJ's. I did a pickup for them and then he wanted to go inside and get our cards. Um, we have Costco already, but we wanted to try BJ's because they do have some things that Costco doesn't have to see what the difference was. So I did that last vlog um, before I showed you some stuff from BJ's. We went there again today. Um, when we went inside to get the cards, we walked around. Of course, we picked up more stuff. Um, that was needed because I still had to go to Publix, so I just got those items from there instead. Um, so I just did a few things at Publix. BJ's came to about 267. Publix was about 85, so I think the total was about three. Was it three? So I think 367 or something like that for the total grocery haul that I'm doing with you guys today. So I'm going to show you guys really quick what we got from BJ's, and then I'll go on showing you what we got from Publix as well. Okay, so here's the haul with BJ's. Uh, we got the Oreo Chips Ahoy Variety Pack. I got a thing of the Belveda Snack Packs. I got the single packs this time just so he can try out the chocolate and the cinnamon to see if he liked them. We got some cupcakes, a thing of the, um, what is it called? Cinnamon coffee muffins. The last time I got the orange cranberry, which were really good. Picked up the milk from there. We got the Milo's Ice Tea, some OJ the cran apple drinks then also we got some seasoned beef patties um some breakfast hot pockets the DiGiorno's ultimate three pack pepperoni and then also the sausage uh pepperoni got a thing of the rice uh long grain brown rice some bluey yo plate yogurts ocean spray drinks I really like those and then the variety pack of the kool-aid jammers also we got the protein honey and oats for me to get and do with my yogurts I bought the yogurt for that we also picked up the country time lemonade um, butter protein pancakes those have been really good so I got some more of those we got a thing of the cookies and cream ice cream the packs of the carved chicken breast this is a two-pack deal right here Honey roasted chicken, uh, the honey ham, and the big jumbo pack. See how big this is? And then also grape jelly along with some sliced apple slices. Now on to Publix. Um, we just picked up a thing of steak slices, some stir fry meat. We picked up a pack of the leg quarters and I just asked them to cut it up for us for stew. So they cut that up. Picked up some gummies. This is for Mason. Um, Jay wanted some Scotch bonnet pepper. Picked that up. The Coca Cola soda, or sorry, cola soda, Jamaican cola soda. These were buy one, get one. The New England coffee. So he picked up those to try. I got some French vanilla chai tea, green tea, two bananas, um, the Takis for Sanaya, some potatoes so we can continue to do some baked potatoes. Been liking that. Two packs of the Caesar salad and then for produce we got green onion some regular onions and I picked up also some tomatoes so that is it oh and we got a bag of ice that is it for this week's grocery haul um, we still do I still do have some items left from the last haul that I did which they're going down if you guys know and you have kids they're home for the summer snacking 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 all day that's all they do I try to keep a lid on it as much as I can but Sometimes they go into the boxes when I have them put to the side and take out things. Yeah, you Zoe. Take out things they're not supposed to until they finish what we already have. So I just wanted to add some more things here. Um, we'll probably go again in another couple weeks just to add on to what we have so it doesn't go down too far. Just trying to keep up on top of things. I do have to get the fridge cleaned out. So I'll probably do that with you guys. It's not too strenuous. So I just wipe out the fridge a little bit. 
put these items up and then I also have a little um, cute little device that I want to share with you guys as well all right so let's look at this fridge um, nothing crazy nothing special like I said I just want to do a quick little it's not terrible I just want to do a quick little um, wipe out since I have some things that I have to put in here you guys can see right there um, and then I also want to just wipe out really quick this drawer it's not dirty like that but I just want to do a quick wipe out that I'm putting groceries in here yeah, putting groceries in here and I um, want to start with a fresh spot so I'm going to show you guys a really quick fridge clean out I'm not going to take everything out I'm just going to do each shelf um, piece by piece as I go because it helps me without getting too um, frustrated and overwhelmed so if you're new to my channel my name is Natasha I'm a full-time working mom of four and a special needs mom over on my channel I like to do things on organization um, home improvements uh, day in the life type videos, grocery hauls, cleaning motivation, of course, organization, just anything that has to do with being a wife and mom and just sharing my real life everyday um, trials that I go through. That's what you'll find here. So if that's the type of content that you like. I definitely would love for you guys to stick around and subscribe. Thank you for those who wished me well wishes to get better. Um, if you're new, I recently had lapo, um, a lapo hysterectomy, so I am recovering. Um, I'm not supposed to do too, too much, but for me, I'm a person that can't sit down and keep still, so I do as much as I can with staying in the guidelines of not overdoing it. So yeah, that's why I said earlier that I couldn't do too, too much um, right now, but we're going to go ahead and get some music on and finish getting a little bit of cleaning motivation going with you guys. What have I done? What have I done? I'm not the one, I'm not the one You feel my feet on solid ground Can't lose you, babe What have I done? What have I done? Need you around, need you around I did you wrong, I did you wrong It's a mistake How do I put things right? Again Again So I'm a Pinterest girl. I love Pinterest, but unfortunately for me, having a Pinterest fridge just does not work for me and my family right now. Hopefully one day I will be able to get like the little cute containers and add certain things here and there, which I probably can do certain things in containers when I get a chance. I will try to change it over. But for now, I just keep it organized and as neat as possible um, the way that I can that works best for me and my family. So don't feel pressured that you have to have that Pinterest fridge with all the cute containers and all that stuff. Just do what works best for you and yours. I'm up at the break What have I done, what have I done If I'm not the one, I'm not the one You feel my feet on solid ground So this is how everything turned out Everything is neat and in its place From here I'm going to go ahead and move over to my little containers in my pantry To get some of these snacks and other items that I purchased put away as well Sometimes I'm migrant, sometimes
So I know in some areas the kids have started back school or they're starting back school soon. Um, do you guys feel like the pressure to get things done and get back going on a routine with school? Have you guys been keeping them on schedule when it comes to the summertime, like letting them go to bed at a decent time? Or have you letting let them stay up late and then um, getting them back on schedule two weeks before? Basically, the kids, for the most part, are late night people anyway. So probably about a week or two before school, I will get them back on routine with, you know, getting in bed a little bit earlier, just getting their body prepared for that early morning um, routine of getting up. I still wake up early. I'm not a deep sleeper. So I still get up in the morning early. I may not get out of bed at, you know, five something in the morning, but I'm already up. So basically I just was trying to give you guys a little bit of me putting things up a little, you know, as much clean as I can do for the most part. Um, I'm feeling a little tired, so I'm going to go sit down. But first, I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to basically put these Oreos, the packs of Oreos that I got instead of me. I didn't get the individual cookies. I'm going to just add them to my little jar here on the counter. So I'm going to fill that up with that. King, come here. Let me show you guys King. He's, I think, 15 weeks this week. And this is the little um, collar that I bought last video, and he's wearing it. Sit down. Sit sit hey look at me sit good boy stay so you guys can see it doesn't he look prestigious <laughs> yeah so let me put these things up and then i'm gonna go sit down for a little while items I was waiting for which um, Jay's opening up the box now I got a nightstand for the girls uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a second one to do it like as a dresser I just want to see how everything looks so far so it comes in a bunch of pieces he has to put it together but from what I saw it's a beautiful piece so I just decided to still get it all right so all the pieces are out the box like I said from the reviews and stuff like that on Amazon it does come in a lot of pieces some people took them an hour to put it together, some people less, some people longer than that. It just depends on, you know, I guess the stress of putting it together and how fast you're able to do it. So I'll probably put it on time lapse to show you guys Jay putting it together. And I'll let you guys know at the end how long it took. And then I'm going to show you really quick all the pieces that it comes in in case it's something you do want to get, you know, what you're dealing with. And then also, of course, you have the option with Amazon to have somebody assemble it for you. But I didn't get that option, so... These are all, because what's over, we're not what? <laughs> These are all the pieces right here. This is how it comes. King, of course, always in the mix. Max over there chilling, so I don't know why he can't do that. At some point, hopefully, he'll get that way. But these are all the pieces, and I'll show you guys, like I said, um, hyperlapse of him putting everything together. Turns around, I get stunned by your drum. I follow you into the sun. Shoot a race like a shotgun. So basically we had a little, Jay was almost done, but we had a little mishap. So right here, there's a screw that goes between the two to join them. Um, so he has to separate it again and just add that screw there. So he did all this work. It's gonna take him back by what, 10, 15 minutes? 
to do it all over again so just to let you guys know if you do get it just remember that there's a screw that goes in the middle here when you guys get it to join it but he's doing good so far you went to the sun, race like a shotgun I'd like to thank SyncWire for sponsoring this part of the video. They sent me this cute, minimal, magnetic phone stand. What you do is they have these two little rings here. If your phone is not a magnet, it doesn't have like the magnetic connection on it, you can use this to attach this stand to it. Um, basically, you'll put it on the back of your phone. You can use it as a stand. You can use it as a little holder to put between your fingers. Um, it basically straps to the fridge, anything magnetic. So if you're working out, you want to do selfies, you want to do little reels, this is great for that. Um, I basically just showed you how it worked on the back of my husband's phone because I had to film. So I wanted to show another back of his phone. I do have it on mine right now. It's really cool. I'm going to show you guys how you apply it. For him, like I said, he has a that magnetic connection on his phone. So I could just hook it to the back. And it will stay if you want to make sure that it stays in place you can use the little rings that it has there the self-adhesive rings you would put it on let it sit for about an hour and then you're able to use it as i said you can use it as a stand to watch your videos you can use it to record um, you can use it horizontal vertical like i said doing workouts things like that it's a great way to use it and it also straps to the fridge earlier when i was cleaning out the fridge and you saw me doing that little view walking towards the fridge i actually had it on top of my um, toaster oven. So anything magnetic, it attaches to, and I'm showing you guys here how it works on the, on the fridge. So it's a great piece. Definitely check out their link below. I wanna thank SyncWire again for sending me this cool little gadget. And again, for sponsoring this part of today's video. So as you saw, I had me a cup of tea and I had me a muffin this morning for my breakfast. I'm not feeling too hungry, but I know I needed to get something to eat. Um, today is a kind of slow day. Uh, I have some clothes and the washing machine. I'm going to throw those in the dryer. I just need to wipe off the bathroom sink in my bathroom, clean around the toilet. Something light. I'm not doing anything crazy because I'm still not trying to do too, too much. But of course, I'm going to keep my house clean. So we're going to do that the laundry um, really quick. Jay did finish the cabinet, however, it was missing a piece in it. I'll show you a little bit of how the drawers look. Um, it's a really pretty piece. It is a lot to put together, but it definitely is worth it. Um, just going off the reviews that they said, it definitely is worth it. It's a very sturdy piece. So once we get that piece, we'll be able to put the drawers in. Um, the top drawer he can't do because there's a piece that he's missing there, like a piece of wood slat. So I had to message Amazon, so I'm waiting on a replacement for that. And then um, that's basically it. I just made Mason his breakfast, which he needs to come eat. And I'm gonna season up some stir fry like steak strips for dinner later on. I'm gonna season up right now, put it in the fridge so that's ready to go for later. Let me show you guys really quick the dresser, or sorry, the nightstand. So this is how it looks. I'm gonna basically show, of course, when it's all the way put together but you guys can see that is really a nice piece um, I like the fluting um, and it's what's this uh, something touched that there I like the fluting and everything in it it's a very nice piece so once it's put together all the way I will show you guys how it looks and then of course King's over here playing with his toy very very busy so I'm gonna take this steak out like I said really quick I'm gonna season that up 
and then we're going to get the clothes in the dryer and go from there so this is the beef i was talking about the beef stir fry um by tip so i'm going to basically rinse it off throw it in the pan and i'm just going to season it with some granulated garlic onion thyme and a little bit of all-purpose flour and put it in the fridge to marinate for another day so I didn't get back to you yesterday I just needed to um, things kind of got away from me so I got the laundry done I got an order in from Amazon it's basically just some cleaning supplies and paper towels and stuff like that so I have to open that and it's only 8 o'clock in the morning Sanaya's so up she just finished having her breakfast I have the kettle going I haven't ate my breakfast yet I did have a glass of orange juice I really want to um, really quick wipe off the couch with a little of the Fabulosa in warm water, so I'll share that with you guys while I'm doing it. <laughs> Here he, he sits there and licks the lotion off. It's busy. So just to show you if you can see it, it's not bad, but I see like a few little things here that was probably from the dog or from the kids. So I'm just going to wipe it off really quick with the... Um, Rag and Fabulosa. I don't want to seem all rude, but I can't remember where I am. A mattress on an old wood floor and fragments of the night before. I don't want to waste no time and you don't want to waste your love. Okay, so this is what came in from um, Amazon so far. I'm still waiting on a few more things. Um, I did order some paper towels, just easier that way. So I got some hair bows, Lysol wipes, some Olay soap, the bags. These I use to pick up King's um, movements. I actually put his little baggies in here. I used, I think I had the, I forgot which kind I had before. I had them to my Amazon store. But these smell really good and you can use them for your house. But I thought this was cool to help hide the poop smell. And then some more body loafers. These are the pads that I use either for King or even putting on the bed and stuff like that for Sanaya. They're very good and very big um, leak absorbent. And then this is a little decorative piece that I got for the girls room. So I'll share it with you guys um, later. My mind is all blurry now. So I'm just using this Purcell microfiber 
cloth all I have to do is wet it and then um, wipe the windows down I do have my spray away but I just felt like using the cloth this time and for the elephant in the room you guys see that big hole in the wall in the back there some weeks ago Mason went to take a bath in the evening time and he went to turn off the pipe in the shower and the handle broke off so we had water running for like a few hours as well he got a shower at like seven o'clock and the plumber couldn't get there until about 10 30. jay tried to turn it off everything he could it wouldn't turn off the guy had to come out and basically cap off the pipes it was going to be about a thousand dollars and change to fix it so we were sitting on that figuring out how to do things and we basically Jay, you know, went ahead and did his thing, Googled YouTube and was able to go ahead and go in there and add the new piece himself, cap off the pipes and change things over for now. It's basically a fix for now because at some point we will be getting this bathroom done over, but this is an expensive project. Our home is about 20 years old. So things are starting to, you know, go wrong. And that's just with having a older home. So we have a lot of different projects that we need to do, get completed. I've started some projects, had to stop for certain reasons. So once we get back on track with that, we will be getting, you know, a lot of things going here, house updates and things like that. So just bear with me, guys. I have other things that are more important right now that I have to take care of. And then once I'm able to start back these projects and these home improvements, I will do so. And I would love to take you guys along with me. He needs to get a piece of... um what do you call it? The uh, sheetrock. It's not sheetrock, I'm trying to say, but add that piece back there. But he has to cut back the wall a little bit more just to make sure everything is able to screw into the, um, the studs. So once he has time to do that, we'll be adding the um, wall back up, painting everything over and touching that back up. And more than likely, we'll be adding another color because I don't have this paint anymore. It just was some paint that I had around the house that I added to the bathroom because we wanted to change the color that was in here. So now I'm going to just go ahead and get this drawer as well cleaned out with all the hair, the brushes washed and things like that as well. Show me using this here 
And basically it's a bleach descale deodorizer and you put it in the top part of the toilet bowl. So, so far so good in the guest bathroom. So now I'm putting it in mine. I know I had to give you a final look over of the bathroom so this is how everything turned out the shower was clean the tub was clean um, like I said I just wanted to do the general stuff with you guys cleaning the sink um, the toilet area the floor also was mopped so all of that stuff was done bathroom is clean and neat and if you're still watching to this part of the video definitely make sure you guys subscribe leave me a comment below and appreciate you guys watching as always and i went ahead and got these things put away in the drawer and just got everything wiped out really quick so for lunch i just did one of the pizzas that we got from bj's um pizza and then i'm gonna make i did two eggs i'm gonna cut them up slice them up and i'm gonna just pair it on top of some salad and that's gonna be lunch for jay myself and zoe i don't eat eggs with my salad but i just showing you guys how i make it really quick Also, when you're trying to be healthy, you don't have to cut everything out. It just have things in portions, add some greens, some vegetables to your meals. As you guys saw, um, they're having pizza with the food and we just added a salad on top of that. And like I said, just have everything in portions. So this is how it turned out. Lunch was great. Um, again, if you guys are here to the end of the video, give me a heart, a black heart. You guys know I love using black hearts and I'll see you guys in the next one.